we have completed six exercises and i'm pretty sure you must have got a good strength and now we are getting into the exercise number seven in our journey of interview right interview preparation so let's see the exercise number seven okay so here i have a switch activity so the task for you check if if the string contains a word success or failed okay so your job is to check let's say you have given a string right for example the file uploaded successfully the file upload has failed a string has been given to you okay so your job is to using a switch activity print the status of the message getting it so using the switch activity you have to do this job so you have to be knowing how to utilize a switch activity and what kind of a code you are going to write okay what is that code you will be writing okay so you can pause this video and try to do it on your own try to develop it on your own otherwise you can do it along with me okay one more request guys after completing the exercise please do mark it yes okay i am trying to notice how many people are doing so if you have done it ensure mark yes comment yes okay and the other one please do subscribe many viewers who are just watching if you want such new content such contents please do subscribe to our channel okay with that let's get started and understand this exercise okay so the first one uh, let me use a simple input dialog box okay it could be i mean the input could come from various forms but our job is to check if that string contains success or failed right that is our job so i'm using a simple input dialog box and here i am saying enter enter a message okay and here i am going to enter the status message right enter the status message okay now here let me create a variable okay so the variable is created which is of string type okay after this i have to use a switch activity and i have to develop the code so that if a person types an input let's say the file has uploaded successfully or he types the file has uploaded or the file upload has failed he can type in upper case he can type in lower case right whatever way he types uh, my switch activity should be able to understand and show or print the status message okay from the entire string okay so how to do it so it's very simple all you have to do is we have to write a piece of expression okay for that you need to remember what we will do in the switch activity first thing the type argument right because we are dealing with kind of a string from default integer 32 change it to string that is your first job okay so once you do this next thing i am going to set the status so what are the things i want to capture one is success i want to capture okay ensure the spelling and everything is appropriate and the other one i want to capture is failed okay and the third possibility is default so default means i'll put a message box i will say unknown status if somebody is typing uh, the file uploaded or something like that he is not mentioning then i will say unknown status okay that i am keeping it in default for success i will say uh, I'll put a message box saying success and let me copy this and go to the failed and here I will write failed simple I, I just designed the structure of it that's all but right now the very important part writing the expression for it right the structure is created success message so if it comes over here then it will show failed this is created but here the expression is very important okay so how do i write it? let me show it to you okay now this expression and one more thing one more tip any expression that you are learning right through our videos any or anywhere from anywhere you are learning some expression keep a separate page 
where you start writing all the expressions one by one one by anything new comes to you keep on writing in a single page in your book keep that don't write anything else just write the syntaxes because after you learn so many things it happens after two days if i ask you you will fumble you know you'll not be able to properly recall so have it noted so that anytime you can quickly refer and it will refresh your mind and at some point it will come to your fingertips okay so that is the tip for the day so now uh, let's write the expression how will you write the expression okay so we'll go with if okay so here our uh, input our input is getting stored in the variable called status message right what is the variable name the variable name is uh, status message okay okay so with that we will write so let me click on the expression and here we will start writing the code so the first thing i have to write is if okay bracket and the variable name is status message dot okay so what happens a person could type in upper case lower case so first thing i want to convert the entire string to upper to upper or lower whatever you want okay i am converting into upper and then i am then i am trying to use the method called contains okay i am using the method called contains that means whatever the user is typing that will get converted to upper case and then it will check contains if it contains right so here what i will do i will use a moon bracket okay and in the moon bracket i am going to write in double quote what it should contain it should contain success why i am i am writing in capital because i have already converted everything to capital so i want to check after it converted everything to capital does that sentence contain something called success okay if it contains success then i am saying the value for the switch should be set as success so what would happen so if if the status message contains success the value will be set to success that means for the switch activity if you have written success here ensure it is case sensitive so ensure you are typing it in a right way if your spelling mist or something is wrong then it will be a problem okay so ensure so so what happens if i am setting it as success the value should supposed to become success then it will come to this particular case and whatever message there it will show getting it similar way the another possibility what is the another possibility another possibility for that i will again put a after success i am going to put a comma let me slightly enlarge okay and here again let me write if another way is again the status could even stay say fail so let me copy entire thing after this comma i am writing one more thing okay so what i am writing here if comma if status message to upper contains this time i will write failed okay so here i am writing failed so that will go to the switch activity failed getting it now there is another see there is another possibility right default some it may happen somebody might have not written even failed or success the file uploaded so unknown status right so there is another possibility is default so in double quote i have to write default why i am writing this in lower case can you guess why i am writing this in lower case because let me show you because this is written in lower case the way it is written i am typing the same way okay done now now tell me why there is error message see look at the bracket how many brackets you have got first bracket open bracket open this is closed so first open bracket second open bracket so here also you should have another open bracket close bracket right so that way everything is proper okay so make a note of this properly are you all done okay so now let's click on okay now the expression is created all i want to do is an experiment so let me save it let's run it or debug it and let's see interesting so ensure you writing all this expressions in a book okay so here what i am doing enter the status message so let me write the file upload has failed so i am writing in my own way so i have written all in lower case now okay so 
so it went to fail and it's saying the status is setting to fail so you can use a right uh, right cell activity or you can set your status so there are various ways you can function okay so this is just i'm printing it over here okay this is done after that let's run it once again and this time let me type in upper lower case you know whatever way i want so the file has been success successfully uploaded okay and let me write s capital here let's say so why it is saying unknown status because the spelling is incorrect right su double css right so there i have not written double s getting it okay so that's why it is saying unknown status so i i hope you have understood how it is working and hope you have made a note of the syntaxes that we have learned today okay so if you want to get such contents please please do subscribe to the channel please do subscribe and if you have completed this exercise please do comment yes thank you guys we'll come up with the next interesting exercise thank you we'll see see you again bye bye